Hello students, welcome back. So in our previous sessions, we have discussed about the applications of biotechnology in medicine, agriculture and also the benefits of transgenic animals. So in this session, we are going to discuss about the ethical issues. Okay. So the problems of unpredicted results, the genetics, some, suppose when we are doing some researches and there might be some unpredicted results, isn't it? So for that, so how to overcome that? Okay, for all these things, we'll just see the genetic modification may cause unpredictable results when such organism or introduced into the ecosystem okay when such organism whose GMO has been modified there might be a drastic result also okay whether it may be a good or bad but something will be unpredictable can also occur so that the Indian government has set up organizations this question came in the NEET examination okay so for all these things, they have to get an approval from which committee? It is GIAC, Genetic Engineering Approval Committee. Okay, to work on these transgenic animals or to modify the, uh, you know, gene of any organism, they have to first get the approval from the GIAC committee. That is Genetic Engineering Approval Committee. This will make the decision about the GM research and the safety of GMO organisms for public services okay they will decide and they will give the approval then so patency problems with patency so, uh, this question also came in the NEET examination okay so certain companies have got patents for products and technologies that make use of the genetic materials, plants, etc. that have been identified, developed and used by farmers and indigenous people of a specific country. Okay, usually the people will be using that particular product for a very long time. But some other, uh, you know, country will come and get the patent for this. Then it's very difficult for the indigenous people who have been using this product for you know thousands and thousands of years okay yeah so example basmati rice herbal medicines like turmeric neem say for example in india we have been using turmeric and neem for a very 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 long period isn't it but if a person is coming and climbing for the patency definitely we won't leave that isn't it definitely we will fought and get the patency back okay so the basmati rice has unique aroma and flavor so the india has 27 varieties of basmati rice indian basmati rice actually was crossed with the semi dwarf varieties and they have claimed it as a novelty through the us patent and trademark office okay they have claimed patency for the basmati rice so in 2018 we had a question like for which product we fought and got the patency back. In the options there were you know sugar cane, wheat and basmati rice was the correct answer. Okay. So US patent office they gave the patency for this novelty variety. So it allowed the company to sell a new variety of basmati. This was actually derived from the Indian farmers variety. We fought it back and got the patency. So next topic is biopiracy. So what is biopiracy? Using the resources of other person without their knowledge is known as biopiracy. So use of the bio resources by multinational companies and organization without the authorization. Okay. So without the authorization from the countries and people concerned is known as biopiracy using of the knowledge of others or resources of others without their knowledge is known as biopiracy most of the nations are poor in biodiversity 
and in the traditional knowledge. So the developing and the underdeveloped world have rich biodiversity and traditional knowledge related to the bio resources. Okay. So this has to develop laws to prevent the unauthorized exploitation of bio resources and traditional knowledge. So somebody has to provide the laws to prevent unauthorized exploitation of bio resources and their traditional knowledge. So the Indian Parliament has cleared the second amendment of the Indian Patent Bill. Okay, so please remember this also. This patent bill will take consideration including the patent terms, emergency provisions, research and even development initiative. So if there is any problem, this will take actions against that. Okay, so biopiracy is like taking the knowledge or the resources of other person without their knowledge. Okay, so with this we have completed the entire chapter on biotechnology applications including ethical issues. Okay, so thank you for watching this session.